What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to BT Willis Garage. Since I taught you guys how to repair a gas fireplace, I thought it would be important also to teach you how to clean a gas fireplace. If in the winter, whenever you turn your fireplace on and it's working, that's great, but you might be, be smelling some weird odors. And likely that is due to the fact that you have pet dander, dust. I don't know if you can see, but just in general, gas fireplaces are known to get pretty dirty, and those smells can go into your home whenever the fire hits them. So what we're going to do today is we are going to use a mixture of different cleaning products in order to get this thing like it's brand new. We're going to use a vacuum with multiple attachments. You can use a shop vac, a home vacuum, whatever you have. We're going to use a pair of gloves to keep soot and just dirtiness off our hands. An old paintbrush to loosen up dirt. We're going to use these Tupperware containers in order to clean these rocks up that we have in the bottom that hold a lot of dust, dirt, and pet hair. We're also going to use just a rough mix of Dawn dish soap and water in order to spray and loosen up some of this grime, as well as a microfiber. The one thing I don't have pictured right now is an air compressor, which we'll likely end up using. And um, let's go ahead and get started, guys. So. Step number one is to take a picture of your fireplace logs before you even get started. The most common problem people have whenever you're doing anything with your fireplace is putting your logs back. So before we even get started, take out your cell phone and take a picture of how your logs look now. And welcome to the channel. Let's get this baby cleaned up. Step one before we get started is to remove this cover and make sure that our fireplace is off. So you can see there's a little notch over here and if yours is at pilot or on, you want to make sure that you turn it all the way to the right, so clockwise, to where it's off before we get started. Alright guys, so what I've got in the corner here is an old towel that I'm going to use to roughly lay out all the current logs. It's worth noting before you take your logs out, a lot of people recommend to warm them up for about five minutes. Now I've actually got my gas turned off, so I'm not going to be able to do that. But if you have yours turned on, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and warm them up because I think it helps to loosen the uh, dirt and grime. So now that we've got those out, let's get a video of how dirty everything is and that can be the reason for a lot of the smells that you're smelling is all that dust catching on fire and pretty much just getting in the air all right let's keep going oh and by the way here's how i have mine laid out just on an old towel so the next step is going to be to take all of our rocks and we're going to put them in this tupperware so take your time, use your gloves, go around and grab all of these rocks, and then we're going to give them a little bath in a soapy water mix. can really see all the all the dust that built up in those rocks good thing we're cleaning them so I just came outside I've got a few squirts of Dawn and water mixed it together I'm gonna pour that in we're gonna cover it with a lid shake it back and forth Since those were still very soapy, I'm just going to let it overflow with water just to flush them out and then put them back on the towel to dry. So we're back inside and here's how it looks after I hand cleaned as many rocks as I felt like doing out. This is a little dirty for the Dyson vacuum, so I actually brought the shop back inside. 
we're going to be using this to uh, to vacuum these out. But before we get started, I want to show you all that dander and dust. That's what's making your house have that odor. It doesn't smell like gas. If it smells like gas, call a professional. But all that dander is what's ionizing and catching on fire and, and just putting that foul smell in the air. So we're going to get that cleaned out. So let's go ahead and chop back all that we can out. And then we can go in with the Dyson and the microfiber to really dust as well as the paintbrush. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I cleaned the grate as well as the sides to make sure that we got it completely clean. And as you can tell, no more dander and dust. That joker's pretty clean. We're still gonna wipe it down though. All right guys, so this is gonna be a little loud, but at this point what I'm gonna do is while I'm brushing, I'm gonna be holding my shop back so that it collects all the dust. But I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna brush all the components that I feel like are dirty before we give them a quick spray of water and Dawn dish soap. The next step, is to take our dish soap and water mix. Just go ahead and spray down an old microfiber, an old t-shirt or whatever you have, and just go around all the components and all that dust should stick to your microfiber and just give it a quick scrub. Not only is this gonna prevent the smells, but it's also gonna make your fireplace look brand new again. Mine is quite dusty, but as you can tell after I hit it with this uh, microfiber, it's really cleaning up nicely. So I'm going to go around and just get the tops of all the sheet metal and electrical components and even scrub down the bottom. Even though we vacuumed, there's still quite a bit of dust in there. And we don't want any smells around the holidays from our fireplace. So I'm going to continue with that and I suggest you guys do the same. Don't forget about the top of your fireplace too, guys. Take your soapy water and wipe all this down. That's where a lot of dust goes, and as you know, heat rises, so we don't want it catching that stuff, you know, on fire and making it smell too. Our rocks are dry and ready to be replaced, so we're just gonna kind of fill the base up in different areas, you wanna make sure to lift up carefully and get some underneath the unit itself. I'm just gonna kinda, of, I'm gonna dump it in the corners and then move it by hand underneath. Just like so. get a nice even layer guys so here's how we're looking after getting everything cleaned up and putting the rocks back now let's go pay attention to our logs and brush them off all right guys so with our gas logs what I want you to do is take your brush and you can really see see all that dust flying up I want you to turn your shop back on and this is gonna be loud so I'm gonna go ahead and talk turn your shop back on while you're brushing to suck up any debris this job can also be done outside now that our fireplace is clean, it's time to reinstall our logs. I'm going to try to stay out of the light. You'll notice some logs have little indentions on the bottom. Typically that means they go on a grate, but just refer to your picture if you're having trouble with it. Like these two lines here. I know we're gonna go on this grate and that grate. So that log sits there. 
the bottom has a smooth surface and you just want to keep an eye out if there's like an indention like here it's probably forward facing just like that now we've just got to play around to see how the game of Tetris works with the other remaining logs. So I hope you took a picture of yours because this can be a little bit of a pain. But I have faith in you. I think you can get it. I'm going to finish mine up, refer to my picture, and get them back in perfect shape. All right, guys, the logs are in place. I just went under the house, turned the gas on, and I actually primed the unit so you guys don't have to watch me press the ignite button a million times as it primes. Pretty much there's air that gets caught in the line um, that you need to get out, but I want to show you how to restart your fireplace. So I'm going to put you down right here. I am going to go to pilot, hold it down, press the igniter a few times, and listen and look. You want to listen for like a crackling sound and you actually want to look and I can see that the pilot's lit. So after you hold this button down for about 60 seconds, you can let go and turn it to on. If you have a remote, push on on your remote and the fireplace should work and it should smell clean. You shouldn't smell any gas. If you do call a professional, but your fireplace should work perfectly. A good indication that you didn't put your logs back right is if the fireplace doesn't look like this, where it's even fire throughout. There is a knob here that you can adjust the flame output. So that's obviously more. And I can turn it down to less if you wanna save gas or you know not have it as high for whatever reason. But that should be it, guys. You want to let it burn for about 10 to 20 minutes just to clean off all the solution, you know, that Dawn dish soap, and just let everything get warmed up. But hopefully the odor's gone in your house. I really appreciate you guys taking time to check out BT Willis Garage. I hope you got yours clean. Please feel free to give us a subscribe. We're always doing car stuff, home stuff, landscaping stuff, and we really appreciate all the subscribers we get. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.